Welcome to Harvey Dent's Spirit of Truth. I'm your host, Harvey Dent. And unless you just crawled out from under a rock somewhere, like present company, um, you've heard about the P. Diddy scandal and you know, the Cassie abuse video and her lawsuit. And this is him, of course, dancing like a good Prince Hall. I mean, a black college fraternity member. Those were the days. Eh, 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 eh. What a fall from grace he's taken. Look how sad he is. He must be really sorry. Well, let's take a look at his apology. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. What heartfelt apology is complete without a script to refer to? I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. Going to take another look at the script. Just because someone has a script doesn't mean their apology isn't heartfelt. Uh, he's disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. Now, striving for a spirit of truth, you learn to observe people's actions as opposed to listening to their words. Or you listen to their words and then observe their actions to see if they are, you know, full of shit or not. He claims to have been disgusted then and disgusted now. Well, was he disgusted uh, when he settled her case a day after she filed it for a uh, eight-figure amount, high eight-figure amount, and then uh, immediately released a statement saying that settling this case does not admit any guilt or uh, admit any wrongdoing or that any of the allegations were true? That would be, he wasn't disgusted, right? And then about a month after that, after word got out that he had settled the case, you know, he published this on Twitter or X, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. These sickening allegations that he had just paid upwards of $20 million to silence had been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and my reputation. Pretty sure this proves he wasn't disgusted then, and he sure as hell isn't disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. Got to go into therapy. I'm going to rehab. You sought professional help, went into therapy, went into rehab. What did you have to go to rehab for to uh, no longer hit on defenseless women. Is that what you were addicted to? Did seeking professional help or going to therapy or rehab occur before you settled the case or after you claimed on Twitter that it never happened? We know this is bullshit and lies because up until yesterday, he didn't do it. So there was no therapy or rehab. Lies. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. So sorry. I'm committed to be a better man. So how's that commitment working out for you, Sean? <laughs> I don't see any progress of you becoming a better man. You apologize to God and apologize to the people that saw the video, but you haven't apologized once to the poor woman who you were abusing sexually and physically and whose life you basically and ruined and made your own little playground. Just look at the fear that poor woman lived under. Look at what he did to her, man. I mean, I couldn't think of a bigger piece of shit on this earth than shitty combs. And one more time, just to rub it in your face in case you thought he was sincere. I'm not asking for forgiveness. He's not asking for forgiveness because he did nothing wrong until you all saw the video of him doing wrong. Up until that point, he was innocent. <laughs> now, take your fall, you piece of shit. Until you find your truth, keep looking.